Hi everyone, welcome to Midweek Sharing. Thank God for a smooth AGM and for leaders being elected into the new term. In the new term, in the new season, I pray that God will do a new thing in RCC. A new season or a new start refreshes us and makes us excited for what is to come. On the topic of refresh, nothing refreshes more than a cup of ice water on a hot day. Just like our physical body was made to depend on water, our souls were made to live on God. Today, let us turn our eyes to the living water that Jesus offers. In John chapter 4, verse 13, Jesus says to the Samaritan woman at the well, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. The living water that Jesus offers satisfies the deep longing of our soul. When we draw from the well of the living water, the things of the world pales in comparison. What the world offers in terms of success is no longer attractive. Yet sometimes we find ourselves downcast in our spirit as we compare to the person next to us, or we find ourselves not as joyful or being in a position of worry and restlessness. Other times, we lack purpose or direction in our lives, or maybe we have put God in the back bench. We may not be chasing after the world's success, but we may also not be filling ourselves up with the wells of living water, such that our lives reflect Jesus. Sometimes we are just running on empty. In John chapter 7, verse 37, Jesus said, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, streams of living water will flow from within him. There is an acceptance and fulfillment needed in our souls that only Jesus Christ can supply. So let us be deeply secure and satisfied in Jesus so that we will draw strength and joy from Jesus daily. Most importantly, we do not need to look left and right to compare with others. We only need to look upwards towards God. Maybe some of us are overwhelmed and stressed. No thanks to the pandemic. At our lowest points, let us remember that Jesus is the cup that won't run dry. We don't need to run on empty or pour out from an empty cup. There is no need to strive. Even when we have come to the end of ourselves and we don't know what to do, that is where Jesus begins. He meets us, He dwells with us. If we are weary and burdened, He promises the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. The Bible promises that God will never leave us nor forsake us. In John chapter 4, verse 14, Jesus continues to say, The water I give will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The living water that Jesus offers is life-giving. The Holy Spirit is the life-giving water that will quench our spiritual thirst. The Bible says out of our hearts flow the issues of life. Often the things we say tend to flow out of our heart's condition too. When we draw from the Holy Spirit as our power resource, we become refreshed and we see things differently, not from our own human's perspective, but from the Holy Spirit's. Our inner spirit man is also continuously changed and transformed. In turn, we refresh others and speak words that edify and also point them to the source of the living water, which is the Holy Spirit. The more we drink from the well, the more the riches of Christ we receive, and the more our hearts will overflow with joy and gladness, not bitterness and strife. There is power from the Holy Spirit when we call upon Him. So today I pray that we begin to drink from and drink as much from the water from the well of the living water, not to be satisfied with just a sip every Sunday, but to draw all that we can, anytime and anywhere. The Bible is a deep resource where every scripture has the power to transform our hearts and minds and give us new revelations to knowing God, so that we will become mature Christians and not lacking in understanding. When we develop a thirst for God and continuously draw upon the well of living water, all of our hearts will flow rivers 
of living water that we may be a salt and light to the world. There is a song that we sing, so let us turn our eyes upon Jesus to look full in his wonderful face so that the things on earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Mm-hmm.